Sam's Garage, presented by Hemsaw. Sam and Doug begin removing the interior from the 57 Ford Thunderbird. They plan to modernize the instrument cluster with new digital gauges. But before the new gauges can go in, the old ones must come out. You know, Doug, we got lucky. This one's not going to require a full overhaul of the interior. Maybe a couple panels, clean up the bezels, new carpet because we're going to have to make a tunnel. But that's pretty right. much it, it seems. Yeah, no, we were real fortunate on this one, Sam. You, know, you take a look at the dash, you take a look at all of the um, bezels all the way around. This is not going to take much at all. We'll be able to clean up a lot. Some of it may have to go to the chrome shop, be re-chromed, but it's, yeah. it's not going to be bad at all. Yep, Doug and I, since we have to make a tunnel, we're going to make new carpet. The seats look really nice, but what we're going to do is redo the door panels and all the metal that you see on the dashboard and the panels themselves. This is going to get a Dakota Digital full electronic cluster, so we have to take apart the dash anyways. And then do an uh, updated AC unit behind the dash. Looks like we have a lot of room, and this thing should be nice, but we do have to address the top. Yeah, the top needs to be redone, and then what we'll do is I'm going to come back and through here. I'm going to polish everything out, and we'll take a look at it. But I really think if I just get in there and do a nice polish, onto it, it'll look just fine for what we want. I got my kick panel out. You can see the back is completely wet. It's pretty much gone. So as you can see, it's just cardboard. We're going to have the upholster guy make a new backing, recover the front with the Thunderbird bird on it. And we should be good to go. Doug is taking this out still right now. As you can see, it has a metal piece all the way along it, and it has metal clips that hold it in. You need to take your time with a uh, one of the pry bars and slowly work your way through to go ahead and get all of this out. But you can see the, the back, once again, same type of thing, it got wet, and it just really destroyed everything. Problem that you run into is this was built in 57, so you've got to kind of really think your way through it. How would they have put it together at that point in time? It's a lot different than they put a car together today, so you just have to look at it, think about it. And the biggest and most important thing is take your time. Take your time on what you're doing. Like we talked about, shoot pictures, use the bags and just take your time, just look at every little piece as you work your way through it. Don't get frustrated. Ah! All right, I'm fine now. We gotta disassemble this car to pretty up the aluminum bezels that are covering the fascia of the dashboard. So what I'm doing is removing every screw on the car to get the dashboard out. Yeah, one thing that's real important when you get ready to dive into the dash section do as much research as you possibly can. Like on this one on the 57 Thunderbird, go to forums, take a look at what people have done before you. It'll make your job a lot easier because really when you get into it, if you don't, then you're gonna jump into Pandora's box. And what I mean by that is you're gonna be removing things that you may not have to remove and everything that you take out, you're gonna to have to put back in. And it's a lot easier to remove it than it is to put it back in. So research, research, research. Do as much prep as you possibly can, and then everything will go reasonably smooth. But remember, there's no guarantee. All right, when you're removing the uh, steering shaft, just uh, remember as you're, you're, you're pulling it out, it all goes to a spline shaft right here. And it just takes a while. Just take your time as you're just going ahead and you're pulling it out. Uh, you've got to go ahead and loosen your coupling, and then you're able to go ahead and remove it. Doug and I wanted to do the bezels right here on the dashboard, and we got all the pieces off, but this one goes around the instrument cluster. You have to remove the whole dashboard to get off. But we didn't do that. We were able to dissect it and save us a bunch of time. Yeah, it was an awful lot of work, Sam. You know, we've accomplished an awful lot in the last day and a half. And the thing for all you guys at home, just remember, when you get frustrated, walk away for a little bit. Come back with a fresh head and you'll be able to tackle that job a lot better and get whatever you need done.